our convergence starts with an integrated network planning. The other what we do comes out in the same AI-based network planning platform. We used to build fiber to run different use cases. Now we are trying to make sure that the same fiber routes that we design are supporting three distinct use cases. Uh, mobile decor, consumer road bank, and enterprise services. We need a network that can be what I call as a programmable data-driven network. So you can actually reprogram your network to align with the interests. At the end of the day, our network is our product. Yeah. We have been launching a network transformation that is uh, quite simple with five main pillars. The first pillar, we are still investing massively in the infrastructure. Huh? On top of this, on the IP layer, we are currently softwareizing this IP layer. And the softwareization of the IP layer relies on two main building blocks. First, the disaggregation, and second, the segment routing. Then we have been introducing the telco cloud layer huh, that allows for a decoupling between the underlay and the overlay. And on top of this telco cloud layer, we are virtualizing all what can be virtualized. And in order to play with the Lego pieces, we have this uh, orchestration uh, layer on the, on the left hand side that allows to, to combine Lego pieces and set up end to end service for our customers in a zero touch uh, operation way, uh, relying on automation and artificial intelligence when it makes sense. We provide it on the mobile, the fixed enterprises, customers, our services as a actually per business. We are one of the Japan top three carriers. The most important thing is the we are focusing on open innovation like that. And uh, actually we have already deployed a DDBR architecture as a viewing router in your production networks for about um, almost three years ago. For example, in the new uh, in the new architecture that we are uh, promoting, there is no use of CLI. People will not touch the network. By the way, it's also uh, contribute to security. It's all uh, contribute to uh, human mistakes that uh, are turning to outages. The service to a customer is end to end. When you say, why do we need to simplify? Think about what the network was today and everything, how we manage the network, all the tools in our network. They were very box oriented. And our, ne our entire network management goes around box, people in process, and especially inertia of people. As they've been doing it for so long, doing something different is very difficult. Change is very difficult for us. We have to make, basically create a safe space for them to actually experiment and end broke. If you driving openness and created layers of complexity that then the operation team don't know how to bring this to life or you created so much permutation of the openness, you didn't solve any problem, just created new bots. AI will not replace uh, humans, but humans that are not using AIs will replace by those who are using it.